Hello lovelies, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual advisor from MissMelinda.com, here to bring you our new moon forecast for the new moon in Scorpio taking place on Saturday, November 14th at 11.08 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. The new moon forecasts are brought to you by my patrons via Mystic Membership. If you would like to receive these forecasts, in advance and support these readings you can click on the link below and join mystic membership for today's forecast i am using the morgan greer tarot i'll be pulling four cards speaking about them individually and then speaking about them all together we are seeking the guidance and the messages available to us to assist us with best traversing the energies of this new moon in Scorpio coming up November 14th. How can we make the most of these new moon energies coming up in November 2020? It looks like I've got our first card and it is death. And the death card is very much about transitions, transformations, leaving things behind. It's a good time now to consider what it is that you can leave behind. How can you embrace change and transformation? How can you embrace transition now? Is there any way that you can make space in your life so that you have room to allow new blessings, new opportunities, new blessings, new, new guidance, new um, ways of thinking and being? So new energies wanna come into your life and the death card is here to ask you to make space for those fresh ideas, those fresh perceptions. Sometimes we can't have a new beginning unless we have the room to allow it. Sometimes when our life is too cluttered or our minds are too cluttered or our hearts are too cluttered, we simply do not have the space to allow new things to come to us. So think about what area within you or what in within your life you can now clear out. How can you make some space within yourself or outside of yourself in your everyday life? And how can you become more at peace with the idea of transition, transformation, change. We often put up so much resistance to change, and yet it really is the only constant in life. Let's see what our next card is for our new moon guidance for the Scorpio new moon in November 2020. I've got the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is about disappointment. Sometimes it's about betrayal. It's about feeling as if you've been trodden on, you've been trampled upon. There may be some situations coming up in which you feel that someone has crossed your boundaries. Um, perhaps you have recently been hurt. Perhaps people have betrayed your trust. Uh, the Ten of Swords is about being able to get through that disappointment, finding constructive ways to accept what has happened, finding constructive ways to accept your own emotions, and finding constructive ways to embrace healing and move forward. Um, rather than dwelling in the past, but it's a balancing act like everything in life because in order to embrace healing, we do first need to accept how we feel and allow ourselves to feel hurt, allow ourselves to feel betrayed, admit how deep the pain is, admit how sad we are, really allow ourselves to fully feel and fully express those emotions and that is, in fact, the gateway to healing. It isn't until we begin to accept the way we feel and embrace the way that we feel and just allow what is to be in the moment that we can fully move forward. Whenever we resist the current circumstances or resist our feelings, we're putting up a blockage in our life that prevents us from moving forward in a constructive way towards positive new beginnings. And with the death card here, we are definitely talking about ways in which to move forward towards positive new beginnings. So our next cards should give us some guidance about how to traverse difficult feelings and how to move 
move forward. What is our next card? This next card is the Nine of Pentacles. I love this card. This is a, such a beautiful figure on this card. This is very much about being embodied. Uh, the pentacles are about our physical material relationship to ourselves and to life. It's about our physicality and the way in which we experience life through physical means. It's how we get in touch with our own security, our own humanity. It's about how we get in touch with beauty and with love and with life through our physical sensations. So the nine of pentacles can offer you some guidance about being embodied, being fully in touch with yourself, being fully in touch with your emotions as we were just talking about. It can also be about finding ways to literally beautify your life, beautify yourself, express the beauty of life in any way that you are able to. That could be looking at art, it could be listening to music. Find ways to use your five senses to get in touch with the beautiful things that life has to offer us as humans in a material world, in a material plane, right? So we're talking about physicality, we're talking about being materialized in a human body, having a solid form or what appears to be a solid form in the here and now and being able to experience life through our senses, through our physicality. That can also mean expressing yourself with your body, dancing, stretching, walking, running, whatever feels good to you, dressing up putting on the makeup, putting on the dress, putting on the heels, embracing your feminine side, um, dressing in costume, singing, writing poetry. How can you find ways to get in touch with beauty and to allow your physical body to experience beauty and experience life in that way? This is going to be a key factor in healing and moving forward through this Scorpio new moon coming up in November. It's very, very significant that we've pulled the death card for the Scorpio new moon. Huge correspondence there. Let's see what the next piece of guidance is for best traversing, making the most of this new moon energy coming up in November 2020, November 14th at 11.08 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. Looks like we have our last piece of guidance. Let's see, let's see what we have here. What is our last piece of guidance for traversing the November new moon? I have got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups tells us that sometimes we have to walk away from things that we perceive to be bringing us emotional security or emotional stability because they're not the best things for us. So oftentimes when we resist change, we, we rely on things that we perceive to bring us emotional security or stability. But in fact, these things are not the best thing for us because all that we're doing is resisting change. So we can be settling for emotional connection that doesn't even fulfill us or doesn't bring us everything we need or doesn't serve us in a healthy way just because it feels stable to us to keep things consistent, to keep things the same. So there's a lot in this reading that's about finding ways to embrace change, looking at where you may need change in your life, assessing what you can leave behind, embracing that scorpionic energy of transformation, transition, allowing yourself to be a creature of change rather than putting up resistance to that because the only constant is change and we have to be growing, otherwise we're dying. We want to continue to learn. We want to continue to develop and experience. One way that we can that we can learn to embrace change is by getting in touch with the changes in our physical body, allowing things like yoga and dance and movement to move through our bodies in a way that communicates to us on a, on a cellular level, on a physical level. Um, 
there are different ways to manifest. There are different ways to bring change into ourselves and into our lives. And sometimes we can do it by using our minds and sometimes we can do it by using magic and sometimes we can be we can do it by gaining spiritual guidance and and spiritual um, leadership and then sometimes we can use other methods sometimes we can communicate to ourselves through our physical bodies sometimes we can communicate to spirit and to the universe through what we do in our physical environments right so there are ways that we can take action that communicates to our subconscious self, that communicates to our higher self, and that communicates to the universe or communicates to spirit what it is we intend to align with. The energies that we align with are the energies that we can manifest more easily. So getting in touch with the energies of change. This can be done many ways, but what Spirit is suggesting here is that during the Scorpio new moon, we use our physical bodies and find ways to get in touch with the energies of change and transformation through our physical selves. Many, many blessings. Happy November and happy new moon.